What's up guys and welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And it's been a long time no see, took a little bit of a break from the channel. Um, just, uh, it, it's it's a constant battle of trying to get with YouTube's, YouTube's algorithm and trying to see if any subscribers on there. I've been like in limbo of adding and taking away subscribers and it just kind of got to me so I got the hell off for a little bit. Enjoyed the sun because it is getting nice out and uh, figured I, uh, it's time to get back and maybe do part three of my Kino Lorber sale that I started in parts one and two like a month ago. So let's finish it off with the Kino Lorber movie haul sale part three. Um, hmm. Next, uh, well, first up is a very, very awesome film that I actually reviewed. I think it's one of the last couple reviews that I've done. Uh, it's starring Bella Lugosi. It is a very, very old film. It is from the, what is it? From the 1940s, 1940 black and white horror film. It is The Devil Pet. This one is awesome. Definitely, if you... Uh, checked out the review and enjoyed it. Definitely pick up this release from Kino Lorber. It is fantastic. Uh, really, it was like a blind buy of mine. So really glad that I picked it up. And um, as you can see from the review, I loved it. And it really is an interesting premise where Bela Lugosi is a... Uh, he's a mad scientist who controls big giant vampire bats that he makes giant through electrifying them. Uh, but he sends about on little missions to kill his enemies that have wronged him. And just a fa fascinatingly weird and fantastic black and white horror flick. Definitely check it out if you enjoyed the review. And if you haven't seen the review, definitely check the review out. But uh, up next is a action film that came out in the 90s, 1993. It is Hard Target with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And this one's been a long time since I've seen this one. Um, but anything with Jean-Claude Van Damme is worth a watch. And I remember enjoying it back in the day anyways. And I think then early 90s he was still pretty good and kicking a lot of ass. But um, yeah, and I didn't even realize that John Woo directed this one. Uh, I guess when it first came out that he wasn't really a big name or I just wasn't looking out for his stuff. But yeah, John Woo directed this film. So very, very very interested to kind of check this one out for the first time basically since it's been so long and see what I think about it but uh yeah don't know too much other than uh Jean-Claude Van Damme has one hell of a nice looking mullet in the movie so hey that's a plus that's a <laughs> that's a plus in my book but uh yeah just building up my Jean-Claude Van Damme collection well, let's move it on to a movie I have never heard of in my life. But I uh, was always interested when I did come across it of what the heck's it even about. But um, it's, it says Night Warning on here, but it is actually also known as Butcher... Oops. Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. But I went with the other cover because I think it looks cooler. More old school... But, um, yeah, looks very, very interesting. It just looks like this kid he doesn't realize he's a psycho, but he is a psycho. Or is he? That's the uh, question uh, that looks like the movie poses. And it just looks very interesting and something that I might get a kick out of. So this is pretty much a blind buy. Um, like, this one's a blind buy. Blind buy. Definitely the, um, the Devil Bat was a blind buy before I watched it and um hard target's not really a blind buy because I have blind buy because I have seen it before but just it's been a long while but this one don't know a damn thing about it other than the kind of short synopsis on the back but uh definitely looks cool butcher baker nightmare maker is the name of it also known as night warning but uh if anyone's seen this one definitely let me know what you think about it because it's going to be putting uh in the list of stuff I need to watch in the near future. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. But next up, it's I've never heard of anyone talk about this film, but it stars one of my favorite actors, and it also, well, actors and actresses, 
and just looks like a hell of a lot of fun. And the movie I'm talking about is <laughs> The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother? Yeah, <laughs> Smarter Brother. I have no clue, but Gene Wilder is in it as, um, I guess he might be the smarter brother of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Madeline Kahn is in it, who is a comedi uh, comedic genius who unfortunately died very young from cancer, I believe. But um, yeah, it looks like it's just like Mel Brooks regulars uh, in their own kind of offshoot movie. And I believe that Gene, yeah, Gene Wilder actually wrote and directed this one. Uh, it also has Dom DeLuise, so it has a lot of the kind of regulars that you would see uh, in this era. And this came out in 1975. But I'm um, very fascinated to kind of check this one out for myself because, uh, yeah, Gene Wilder is amazing in everything he's in, even if it's a kind of crap movie. But, um, yeah, Madeline Kahn is stupendous. Uh, just, I'd really like to know about this film more and why nobody really talks about it. But, um... Yeah, The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother. <laughs> Interesting pick. And uh, like most of these ones, it's a blind buy. I do not know much about that one other than the cast and that Gene Wilder wrote and directed it. So really interested to check it out. But up next is another blind buy. Um, kind of looks like an adventure spy kind of thriller. But um, starring Burt Reynolds and came out in 1969. But uh, the movie's called Impasse and just kind of looks interesting. It's got Anne Francis, looks like she's in a supporting role. And um, Burt Reynolds in his prime running around kicking ass and doing spy shit it looks like. Or some kind of thriller. But uh, yeah, I don't know much about this one. I just kind of... Came across it in the sale and thought, I've always seen it prior in their other sales and never really jumped on it. So I figured I'd give it a chance this time and see what it's all about. I'm a sucker for kind of espionage kind of thrillers of the 60s. And Burt Reynolds is always a charismatic lead. And Frances can't go wrong with her and just looks like a cool premise with a kind of international kind of locations and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely interested to see what this one's all about. But... That is impasse, and I know not much about it. But we've got two more to go. Uh, this one is known as a classic horror film, black and white horror film, but I have never seen it before in my life. It's got a pretty stellar looking cast. But um, yeah, I don't know much about it other than the name, and the name is The Old Dark House. And looks pretty interesting from the uh, cover art and the screenshots in the back. Uh, it's got Boris Karloff in it. And um, just looks very interesting. And this is a new 4K restoration of the film. So Benton is looking pretty nice. And it's from the 1932. So we got early 30s here. And I'm hoping for a, like a nice bit of class. Some gothic looking visuals and says on the back, a mastery mixture of macabre humor and gripping suspense. So, interesting combination. But, um, yeah, I always like kind of creepy house, uh, dark house movies, like haunted house movies or just movies that are set in a house where people are getting picked off one by one. Those are always interesting and always kind of focus on this uh, cast and characters. So, I'm hoping that this one has that same bit of flavor, from, but from its reputation, pretty um, sure I'm going to enjoy this one. But that is The Old Dark House. Another blind buy, basically. But last, but not least, is a very, very early, early film. We're talking 1916. Uh, black and white kind of adventure science fiction film. But um, blind buy, another blind buy. But this one is... 20, I'm trying to, it's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but I was trying to see if any of this stuff was in it, but I guess it's Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but um, looks very interesting, I'm pretty sure it's probably a silent movie, so it's a silent era film, 
black and white, uh, kind of bringing to life Jules Verne's writings. Uh, you'll get, looks like we're going to get a lot of crazy undersea um, octopus action and stuff like that with his submarine story. Uh, like, I've seen the other versions of 20,000 20, Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, they're all uh, amazing in their own right. This one looks like it is going to be a treat to watch. And I don't know much about it, but I'm pretty sure he blend, they, uh, filmmakers blend a lot of his Jules Verne's writings into one story. It's not just focusing on the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. But um, yeah, looks pretty badass. And I'm a sucker for old black and white silent films. Especially of works of Jules Verne. I love people's different adaptations of his work. Uh, it's a 4K resolution. But yeah, pretty much a blind buy because I don't, I've never seen it before, but I know the kind of subject matter. But yeah, an early, early 19, what was it again? 1916, was it? Yeah, 1916. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But yeah. And that is the part three of, I'm getting a lot of glare there, part three of the Kino Lorber uh, movie hall sale part three. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, probably forgot all the other stuff. So, hey, we'll watch the parts one and part two to get yourself refreshed of all I picked up on the sale. But, um... Yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I do have a bunch more stuff, so the movie hauls will continue because we finally did get caught up. We only had a few left on these kind of like stacks over here, uh, but now they're all freshly stacked and we're back to being behind and trying to catch up with all the movie haul videos. Got a bunch more coming in the mail this week. Um, two that I want to show like a feature of because they have so much in the um, packaging to show off. So like in-depth um, view of everything in there, all the contents. So I got two separate videos for those. Um, still waiting for one to come in the mail, um, but the other one's here. So we'll probably do a video of that one pretty soon. But um, as far as movie reviews, I do have three, three reviews written up and I just have to get in front of a camera and film for that and uh, edit all the video footage together. So they will be coming in the future. And I've got, I've always have a ton more um, ideas in the works of what to review next. There's, it's never gonna, never gonna be a well that dries up because there's just so many amazing movies. I mean, most of these ones I haven't even reviewed back here. So there's never a, uh, a lack of movies to review. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have some time on your hands, leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. But until then, I will see you all the next movie review. And the, the next time I'm in front of a camera talking about movies. Uh, see you guys later. Take care, stay out of trouble, and you be good. Later.